change expert Oof. right here, meteorologist yes. Mike Prangley, keeping an eye on well, the forecast here in Tampa. Right, and you're keeping us cool, Jenny. Appreciate all the good advice you've given all morning yeah. on that heat. But yeah, the climate change is related to this heat uh, alert we're having yeah. uh, because the warmer the water temperatures, the more humidity and the higher the dew points it adds mm -hmm. to the air. So this is all about the temperature and the dew point combined, Interesting. making it feel unusually hot. Making those stronger hurricanes too because yeah. of the water being so warm. So a lot, lot of effects happening here. It is. So, let's get to it. Yes, let's get to it. Just educate awareness that's the big thing and taking care of our planet now we take a look at remembering the humans and the pets the planets the humans and the pets that's my big three today and there's a uh, beautiful tofu and tofu's not only finding a safe spot but he's also not so happy about all the fireworks out there so just remember the pets uh, as we head through this holiday weekend we want to have fun but yes let's keep our little puppers safe that, that's a great picture thank you C for sending that in and Jenny Dean she always takes you to the next level when you work with her. So she's saying you know, she's been noticing a little bit of haze when we wake up, all those fireworks that have been going off. So what's causing it? Well, it's actually called pyro clouds. Okay, that's a different kind of classification of clouds created by humans. All right. And then you can say fireworks haze as well. But you get this lingering smoke mainly late at night in the morning, right? Because there's something called a temperature inversion that happens in the atmosphere. So we've got the cooler air near the ground. So the earth really cools from the ground up. So we cool a little bit here in Tampa if we're lucky at night. And you get the cooler air at the ground and then warmer air above it. So it causes a temperature inversion and causes that smoke to settle close to the ground. So yeah, we don't have any uh, huge visibility issues uh, expected in this forecast, but it will be a bit hazy as you wake up and that's why it's the fireworks haze. And the good news is yes, the heat of the day does mix the layer, what we call the planetary boundary layer. And as a result, we have better visibility ahead of the storms, right? We take a look at the Ascent St. Pete camp in case you missed it. Hopefully you got a little rest this morning, maybe slept in. Here it is at 640. And yes, here's our slice of paradise we call home. Uh, it just doesn't get much better than that. And you can see just a beautiful sunrise there. But we're in a pattern where we're watching uh, sunny starts and stormy afternoons. And the question is the timing and location. So that's why I'm here. OK, let's take a look. First of all, we know about the heat. 108 right now feels like an, oh gosh, Land of Lakes to Temple Terrace, 100, 103 for Zach and Riverview. Every time we see it, it gets hotter. And we're going to see some cooler weather, though, coming with those storms this afternoon. As we take a look at our satellite and radar, it's quiet now. But meteorologically, we're seeing the two winds come together. Where are the sea breeze collisions? There's the East Coast sea breeze and the West Coast sea breeze is just now getting started. And notice how they just collide, boom, right toward Polk County as we head into late afternoon. So the first areas to see those pop-up showers, Pinellas County, Pasco County, early afternoon. Okay, and then as we go through the mid and late afternoon, heading toward Tampa and Lakeland and Lake Wales. What makes these showers and storms, the goalie washers a little different is the atmospheric winds are very light out there, so they could last instead of a 30 minute shower, could last an hour or two with some very heavy rain like we saw yesterday in Manatee County. So be safe. Let's take out the look at the seven day forecast. We want a little bit of relief, right? Well, well, I've got two red bars. So today and tomorrow will be the worst of the heat for the weather impact alert. Another heat advisory likely Sunday and a little bit higher chances of rain again coming in early afternoon done by late day for your cookouts and then seven day forecast. Yes, monsoonal moisture swarms the area. So more clouds and temperatures more typical of this time of year.